Hi, it's Calc here, and in this series of videos, we're going to look at a lot more of the experimental side of both the peak synthesizer and the circuit mono station. In this particular video, we're going to create a self-generating patch using the peak, in that we're going to explore the modulation matrix, some of the FM aspects of peak, and create a patch that is kind of otherworldly. One thing to say is that this particular patch is not going to be like a, a particularly fine music performance, but it's really more of an experimentation to give you some ideas of the sorts of power and the sorts of things that you can do with this synth. Okay, so let's take a look at how we can create a self-generating patch on the peak. And the first thing is I'm going to initialize the sound. So this is just going to give us a basic sawtooth. I'll latch the note on, and now we're going to move to a sine wave. So now we've got the sine wave chosen on oscillator one. The next thing is for me to take oscillator three and actually frequency modulate oscillator one. This is FM synthesis. Now to do this, I'm gonna to go to the mod matrix and the mod matrix basically turns peak into a modular synthesizer with virtual patch cables instead of uh, little mini jack patch cables. So in here, I have 37 different destinations of things that I can modulate including towards the end here we have oscillator 3 now going into modulate oscillator 1. So let's add some depth to that and you can hear the FM sort of sound coming through. So that's great at the minute. Let's just change oscillator 3 to a sine wave which will sound a little bit nicer and now I'm going to use the LFO2 to change the pitch of oscillator 3. And what we'll do here is this is going to modulate oscillator 3, which is in turn modulating oscillator 1. As you can see now, we have a nice bit of movement in the sound. So the next thing is I want to make this a little bit more random. So I'm going to go to my LFO 2, and I'm going to change this to a sample and hold LFO. And this is basically going to randomly change the level of the uh, modulation. Now it's good, but as I change the rate here, it's a constant change. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to modulate the speed of LFO2. And once again, I can do this in the mod matrix. And I'll go to a second slot now. And we'll go to the LFO2 rate. Let's add a bit of depth to that. Now at the moment, that's just automatically increasing the speed. But now on the mod matrix, we'll go to a source and we'll say that we want LFO1 to start to modulate LFO2. So we're getting there with the sound now, but let's change LFO1 to also be a sample and hold. So now this is going to randomly change the speed of LFO2. Now we can get even more crazy if we go to another slot here and let's start to cross modulate the two LFOs together. So let's take LFO2, LFO1 rate, sorry, add some depth to that. And now we're going to take LFO2 to be the source of that modulation. So now we have LFO1 randomly modulating LFO2, which in turn is randomly modulating LFO1. Let's just slow down the LFOs a little bit, so we get a bit more of a slow movement there. And the next thing that we'll do is we'll start to play with a filter. Now, on the peak itself, we have a dedicated control which allows oscillator 3 to control the cutoff frequency. So let's increase that and add a bit of resonance there. And we can now see that the sound is starting to take shape. And let's add a little bit of LFO to the filter as well to just give a little bit extra movement in that sound. We'll add a bit of chorus to the sound now. And a bit of reverb just to give it a nice little effect, shimmer. Now at the moment we're just listening to oscillator 1. So obviously if we turn that down we won't hear it. But if we bring in oscillator 2, we can have a nice single note drone. 
So the next thing I'll do is I'm going to go to my LFO setting and we'll slew the LFOs. And this means that the movement between the LFO positions is just going to be a bit smoother. We'll do this for LFO2 and for LFO1. Now we've got the basic patch, we can experiment with all of the different settings on the peak and uh, see where it takes us. Let's try changing some of the, um, some of the oscillators here. We could also use the ring modulator, which will give a nice interaction between oscillators one and two and create an even more crazy sound. When you're happy with the patch, you can just simply hit save, rename it, and there we are with our self-generating patch. So that was a look at how we can use the Peak to create quite an interesting and, well, let's say very experimental patch. The sorts of things that we've been doing in there you can take away and use at your own leisure. Um, and really they're more of a proof of concept of what we can do with the actual instrument. I hope it's been an interesting watch and you've learned some interesting things. But thanks very much for watching.